Refrigerators. A refrigerator is a device which extracts heat from a system A and rejects it to some other system A prime at a higher absolute temperature. Suppose that A is a heat reservoir at temperature T and A prime is another reservoir at temperature T prime. Show that if T prime is greater than T, the transfer of heat from a to A prime involves a net decrease of entropy of the total system and is that not, thus not realizable without auxiliary systems. So here is a diagram, schematic diagram of our refrigerator. First we don't have the B and there is no work done. So we have uh, the system uh, M, the engine absorbing heat from the uh, hot reservoir T. Uh, and providing heat to the uh, actually extracting heat from the cold reservoir with temperature T providing heat to the hot reservoir at temperature T prime so Q prime is equal to Q plus W normally when there is work done on the system but if there is no W then Q prime will be equal to Q so let me calculate the entropy change of system a which is my heat reservoir uh, that is providing heat so it is minus q at a constant temperature t the entropy change of system a prime that is absorbing heat at a constant temperature t prime uh, since we have cyclic uh, process the mean energy change of uh, of the engine must be zero so I must have uh, the heat absorbed uh, by this engine Q minus Q prime uh, plus zero equals to zero. So Q must be equal to Q prime. This is energy conservation. The total entropy delta S star will be the entropy change of the heat reservoir A, entropy change of the heat reservoir A prime, entropy change of the engine delta s of the engine is zero because it's a cyclic process uh, so this is not present and so if i calculate the total entropy change delta s star i will find uh, q prime over t prime minus q over t and since Q prime equals to Q, delta S star is in Q parentheses, 1 over T prime minus 1 over T, or in Q parentheses, T minus T prime divided by T, T prime. And you see that if T prime is greater than T, delta S star will be less than zero. So an auxiliary system is needed for entropy compensation. So we reach the conclusion suggested in part A. If one wants to extract heat from A and thus reduce its entropy, one must increase the entropy of A prime by more than a compensating amount by rejecting to it an amount of heat Q prime greater than Q. This can be accomplished by letting some system B do an amount of work W on the refrigerator mechanism working in a cycle. One thus obtains this schematic and understands why kitchen refrigerators need an external source of power to make them function. So the electrical uh, power is converted into mechanical uh, work. And use entropy concentration, concentra cons concentrations uh, to show that Q over Q prime uh, should be less or equal to T over T prime considerations to show that uh, we have this case okay <clears throat> so the entropy change of a plus the entropy change of a prime uh, should be greater or equal to zero 
So the entropy change of A is minus Q over T. A is releasing heat at temperature T. Entropy change of A prime is Q prime over T prime. This must be greater or equal to uh, zero. And so if you have uh, Q prime over T prime greater or equal to Q over T, you can write this as Q prime over Q is greater or equal to T prime over T. Uh, so what we have here is uh, the internal energy change of the engine is the total heat absorbed, uh, that is Q minus Q prime, plus the work done on the engine must be equal to zero. So we have Q prime equals to Q plus W. So we find that uh, Q plus W should be greater or equal to Q times T prime over T. Equivalently, we can reach this conclusion.